What's up, everybody? Welcome to the podcast. Uh, as you know, I talked some shit about furries recently. Well, you know, I was saying it wasn't that weird, but Cody was the one saying that it is weird. And regardless, we wanted to try out some suits for ourselves and see really what it's like. So here we are. And honestly, you know, it feels pretty good. Honestly, it's a little bit weird. My lips are pressed up against the mask here. Kind of feel like I'm getting some sort of di weird, I don't know, something. But it uh, feels pretty good. This shit is so gross, man. It, I know. It's, it's got to <laughs> come off. This is <laughs> so <laughs> gross, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but we got you. If you're watching, we got you. This, this is disgusting. I don't what care. What is this for? <laughs> uh, Nima, come over here. I don't care what your kink or your hobbies are. This is a foul behavior strictly on the the premise of is disgusting in these suits. Smell, smell this. Come here. <laughs> come here. Smell my mask. Come over here right now. Smell my mask. Smell Nemo, my mask. You, come over here right now. Smell this. You're gonna, you gonna yeah. Do it. Yeah, Nima, get over here and smell this mask. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I just sat on my face, dude. It takes a sec to sink in. I think mine's not as bad. Because mine, I can go back in, but it's still, it's still gross. <laughs> All right, can we, can we switch now? I feel yeah, we can go back weird to being in this seat. All right. What's up, guys? This is the TMG Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad free and an extra bonus episode, you can find out right now on Patreon at patreon.com slash tinyk. Mystery of the flying saucers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Ah, oh, gay as fuck. I'm trying to get my RC. The so called flying saucers. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown? Did you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> Science. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for the base. I had to expose my my bootleg island fade. I didn't get to tell that story in the bonus. What is we'll it? We'll talk more about my Hawaiian experience in the bonus, but I'll just say this real quickly. Right. By the way, hold on before you before you say that we did do the live stream bonus episode before we did this episode. Yeah. And we live streamed that. Yeah. It was actually on Patreon.com. It is. So that's yeah yeah. It's I just didn't know if you, do, if you knew that. That's where we were live streaming it. Yeah. Too. No no. It's Patreon.com slash Tiny Meat Gang. Right. It is. Yeah. That's the URL. Right yeah. right. And so if you subscribe, you can watch the live stream episodes there. Yeah yeah. And on all Wednesdays. the other bonus episodes. All the other that we bonus previously episodes. done. Yeah. Oh no way. Every single one. That's cool. Damn. Yeah. Huh. I'll have to check that out. <laughs> <laughs> so. I go in to this salon near our hotel because my hair is getting a little bit ugly, and I gamble. I, I say maybe they know how to do a taper fade in okay. there. You know, taper I think is like the uh, uh, cosmetic school word. Right. So I go in, and the lady's like, "Hi." And I go, "Hey, are you, are you able to do a taper or like a fade?" She goes, "Yeah." <laughs> I go, "All right." You never want anyone to respond like that. Yeah. 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 Because that's more of like a, sure. And it just, it sent a chill down my spine, but I was, I was thinking, eh, you know, let me not, let me not assume. She could just be wicked with, you know, with, with the tools and we'll just see. And uh, we get in there, we being me, and she pulls out the clippers and she's searching for her number one. So already I'm like, it's not good. You know, a season, because someone was seasoned with the Clippers is like, yeah, and they're ready. They to got go. it locked and loaded. Yeah. All right. She's fumbling with it. And then it's like she's not even able to put it on correctly. OK, now I got the social anxiety because I don't want to just cut her off and go, you know what? You look like you can't cut. Yeah. Let's just not do that, which yeah. I should have did. Yeah. But I didn't. And so she starts to immediately fuck my head up, it, like immediately. And, you know, bless her heart. She was doing her best, you know. And then she takes the clippers off to try to attempt the fade. And she just is like kind of haphazard, just going around. You can't really see it now because my hair has grown out kind of shitty. But uh, there was this weird like 
tennis ball stripe through my head okay. for a good four or five days. And after she fucks my head up, she goes, you're the, you're the first person to come in here and ask for a fade in a long time. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, why didn't you just tell me no? Why did you put us both through this? Why didn't you just tell me no? Because how else is she supposed to, you know, dust off the old, uh, the old taper skills? Yeah, experimental tourists, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. Wouldn't you do the same thing? <laughs> fuck yeah, the shitty Taurus comes in. Of course, I want to fuck his head up. Yeah, I, I can do a fuck. fade. Yeah, yeah, I'm fuck a, yeah. She probably could do a fade, and she's like, I'm gonna fuck his head up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This guy I'm had the nerve to ask me if this. I could do a fade. Yeah, at, at a, a haircutting place. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> so yeah, I walked around with a hat for a handful of days. It was pretty bad. You know, shout out to her. I still tipped. Did you really? Because I'm a, I'm a just pussy. A fucking pussy. Yes, I'm such a fucking idiot. Such a stupid pussy. Just like that snow spine loser. Yeah. So I, I tipped. I fucking hate myself, like dude. Limp dick loser I am. Just limp dick. I, I, that's, I have that social anxiety too. Like tipping no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> just, even the, 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 with the worst service ever. Just like, all right. I hate, you know what I hate the most? We were at Dutch Bros Coffee yesterday, which have you ever been there? Yeah. Dutch Bros, and we we're in the drive-thru, and she pulls up with a tablet, and she's like, and you know what they do at Chick-fil-A too, but yeah. they don't, they they skip the tip screen at Chick-fil-A at least. Mm. At Dutch Bros, she stands there and looks at you, and she goes, and just one last thing, do you want to add a tip? And I'm like, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I, I kind of have to. You're staring me in the face, you know? Also, man. Staring, she's like, got her two kids there too. Yeah. <laughs> Did you want to add a tip? Oh boy. I twenty five percent. No, no, you have to tell her which one and then she clicks it. That's oh, the worst part. Nice. <laughs> and so I mean I did I still I went with the lowest one. Nice. Which I felt a little bit bad about. I was sure. like, Yeah, just do the fifteen and she was like, Okay. Okay. Huh. Forty seven. Okay, cool. And you, you said you wanted a you wanted a double spit latte or what did you say <laughs> you wanted? Oh, interesting. <laughs> Forty cents. Hmm. Worth that much to you. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you need okay, it. Okay, cool. I'll click that one. Yeah. You sure? <laughs> Probably need that 40 cents to cut all that going on in your head, right? <laughs> yeah. You need to save up. It's a big operation up there to finally cut that thing down up there. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> you should keep it. Matter of fact, keep the tip. Don't don't give us any tip. It's fine. Yeah. I actually got my first haircut. Did you? Right. Yeah, I did. Okay. I swear to God, I went my first haircut in a year and a half or something like that. <laughs> I went to shit. I went to went to the place and I was like uh I just said cut off the the split ends. Never said that in my entire life before. And here you are. I was like, Kelsey, what do I do? She's like, just get him to cut off the split ends. I was like, I don't. What does that mean? Here you are, beautiful. And here I am. And hair. he did the sideburns, which have grown out awfully. And then he did the split ends, which makes your hair grow faster, apparently. So so now, just wait till next week. Just trying to get it to your ass as yes. fast as possible. Yes. yes. You yeah. know what, man? Um, I'm just gonna formally say we all hated on the ponytail. But I go back and look at old pictures of us. We look like bitches, man. We definitely need to get... We should not go back to that hair. That's what I'm saying. We look like bitches, man. Like, I, I Seriously, this is why I don't cut my hair. Because I keep going back and like I'll watch an old video that <laughs> pops up. And I'm like, I look like shit. That's why I didn't re understand that guy's comment on the tweet. Oh, man. I, yeah. People are like, grow your hair back. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> that hair was like corporate programming for 10 years, man. That's why that shit was stayed on my head. That was the Matrix moment for me and you in quarantine. Really we were like, oh, fuck. Yeah. I'm a person again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just gives you a little edge, you know? Like before we were just vanilla, like, you know, like programmer. Oh, it was corporate. You, you could tell we got cogs. Yeah, we had cogs. We, we, we had cog haircuts. <laughs> We bounced out of the machine. Yeah. Just rock, clink, 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 clink. And there we were, two little cogs making YouTube videos. Yeah. No clue that we were just like the peak cog. That's why you got to do this shit. That's why I dyed my hair blonde too, because it just, it doesn't matter if it looks good. It doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. It just gives you that, oh, fuck, something new. Yeah. You guys got to get something out different. The, you know? Get out the fucking wheel, man. Yeah, exactly. We look horrible. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> I look at that, yeah. and I'm like, God bless everyone that came to see us live, support <laughs> us through anything. Because if I saw these two guys walking down the street, I would spit on them directly. <laughs> I would not feel any shame. 
fuck you both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We really were like the personification of, of uh, you know, how's your weekend? Too damn short. Oh, bro. <laughs> the fact that anyone li even listened to any music we made with those haircuts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going back. That's why I'm Sophia, never going back. Yeah, that's why Sophia was confusing because they're like, wait, they don't look like little programmer back in bitch boys. This is confusing. Yeah, yeah, right. Saying, it made people feel a certain way because they're like, wait a, wait a second. Yeah. They don't have those fucked up haircuts. Yeah. It kind of makes this a little bit listenable. <laughs> I kind of like the music now that they don't look like two little bitches. <laughs> you know, it's just, yeah, it was, it was bad. I'm no, I, I agree. I agree. I ordered a beard roller. I'm trying to, I'm trying to grow this what? somehow. Yeah. What's a beard roller? Grow, same shit. Like it's kind of like getting rid of your split ends, but on your face. Oh. Yeah. You're trying to grow that out that everything. I just want it to thicken out. But you don't have this. I, Cause I kill it. I I get rid of it. What? You get rid of this part? It grows. It's patchy. You get it on your cheeks? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. But I don't want it that high. You know, I just want you know, it's a little 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 neck, a little coverage. Gotcha. And you know, just grow up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Well, Should I do the same thing? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> should we should we do no shave November in June? Yeah, no shave ne never again. <laughs> That's the challenge. No shave never again. Yeah, okay. No, yeah. I was going to change again like November and add ER at the end and realize adding ER to things is risky, so we're just going <laughs> to it's going to bounce up out of there. Yeah. It's going to leave that one alone. Yeah, that's fair. Totally fair. Mmm. Mmm. <sighs> Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Bud Light Seltzer. Bud Light Seltzer Iced Tea and Bud Light Seltzer Lemonade are the perfect combination for summer and Memorial Day is coming up. Mm, yeah. Could not be a more perfect drink for, Memor for Mem Day. <laughs> you know about Bud Light Seltzer, the delicious hard seltzer from Bud Light with no Bud Light in it. Now Bud Light Seltzer is here with the perfect flavors for summer with the Bud Light Seltzer Lemonade Variety Pack and the brand new Bud Light Seltzer Iced Tea Variety Pack. Those are two very different things, okay? All these seltzers are 5% ABV, 100 calories, and gluten-free. That's right. <laughs> nice. If you really want to if you really want to try them all, uh, you can get them together in the Bud Light Seltzer Iced Tea and Lemonade Mix Pack. Let me tell you, they go great together, okay? It tastes really great. The raspberry mixes nicely with the peach, and I gotta say the the lemonade is a nice, refreshing kind of icing on the Arnold Palmer cake. Yes, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, listen, again, Memorial Day is coming up. This is the perfect drink for it. So uh, go ahead and get yourself some of these. Why don't you tell them? Tell yeah. them where they can where they, where they can get it. Yeah, remember you can get different flavors of Bud Light seltzer delivered at BudLight.com/delivery, or pick it up at your local neighborhood grocery convenience or liquor store. Huh? You know, whatever whatever Mem Day activities you got on, you know, golfing, boating, beach picnics, barbecues, perhaps a massage. Mm. You know, uh, any one of those activities. Maybe a podcast. Maybe a podcast. Whether you know you're going with lemon or you're doing some combination of the seltzers, man, this uh, it's, it's it's just the way to go. It's fire. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to that. All the best. Best wishes. And best of luck. Best of luck. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, um, it's so hot. Yeah. Holy Jesus Christ. It feels like a fursuit in here. What happened? Is this what summer's going to be like this in is, space? Yeah. This is what a fursuit feels like. Are there seasons in space? I mean, there is in the, in the sense that, the you know, we there's just gear fucked up. Maintenance team, I don't know what they're doing, <laughs> but it's just pumping extra hot. We got here. a guy down in the furnace room. Yeah. Just loading coal into the furnace. It's like, what do you, why do we even have a furnace room? It's like, oh, we had to, because the power, it, he told me, it was like to the power, to the main air Gen circulation got fucked up. So we have to use the furnace system to keep things running for like power. Oh. It's like a, basically a backup. Oh, okay. We have, like, we have like future power and then we have old school raw power. Right. And he has to go back to coal like a steam engine and it's just creating heat in this whole thing. Got you. Yeah. Got you. Yeah, I know. I feel like I'm doing this in Joe Rogan's song. I was about to say. <laughs> this is about to say. We're making fun of him. I think yeah. this is just like a simulator. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. someone hit the sauna switch. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, there it is. Joe Rogan sauna simulator. <laughs> Need this shit. Dude. He's, dude, this he's, makes me feel like a lizard. <laughs> yeah. Now you know what it's like to have eczema. Yeah. <laughs> Stay under your perfectly temperate climate yeah. so your skin doesn't break. Yeah, dude. Um... That Joe Rogan image is so goddamn funny. 
Him in just that bright red sex room. <laughs> he did another one, though. Uh, again? Yeah, did you see the most recent one? No, nah, let me see. Let me pull it up here. Let me, let me see this boy. Oh, no, maybe he didn't. Maybe he deleted it or something. I thought he did. Did Joey get insecure? No, it's down there. This phone. <laughs> he literally looks like he's in hell. Yeah, it's this one, right? <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's in hell. <laughs> Minute 26. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Holy, he's being pushed to the edge. Oh, is this his, uh, wait, what is this? I fucked up every part. I fucked up part of one bit, and of course that's been haunting me every minute of every day then. Oh, okay, I thought this was some... I thought he was saying something about his, like, shit on on his podcast where he was talking about white dudes being silenced or something like that. <laughs> I didn't even listen to that. I just saw that title, and I was like, ah, Joe, I'm fine. Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Chair broke a little bit. Oh. That was weird. I think a spring broke or something like that. Your, <laughs> your cake? Yeah, cake I think it's for my it? fat cake. <laughs> <laughs> my Guys, Cody's cheeks. fat cake just ruined the chair. <laughs> oh, oh, I ran a half marathon. Yeah, I saw. Congrats, dude. Thanks. Yeah, I, I watched Thanks. that clip. I was like... Crash trained for it. 40, day, 40 hours hard and just went in. <laughs> it, was, it was like... Uh, my dad I was like... Because I told my parents I'm going to come see them. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was like... My dad was like, I'm doing the Whitefish Marathon if you want to join me. And I was like, dude, it's two and a half weeks away. He's like, yeah, come on, you can get back in shape. And I was like, all right, fuck it, yeah. And I bought the ticket. Like, I had to sign up. It's like 100 bucks to run a half marathon. Yeah. You pay to be in pain. So I was like, fuck it. I did it. <clears throat> and then I did three long runs to train for it. Like, that's how, it. How just, long? The first one I did eight. Second one I did nine miles. Third one I did 11 miles. And that was five days before the race. Just to be like, all right, this is what it's going to feel like. Get back into it. And it actually, like, I think once you're, once you do a half marathon or a marathon, <clears throat> And you stop training, you can get back into that zone pretty easily. Does it, does it feel almost like muscle memory? Yes, like, it okay. does. Like the long runs aren't as long because, like, I've been here before. I know exactly what this feels like. Yeah, you just gotta listen to some music and keep on yeah. pushing. But um, and What'd so you finish, I finish like place, place wise. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I didn't uh, check. I didn't know if they did that like ranking. I'm sure they do, but I didn't really check. I oh, I got sure. I did it in 151, I think, or something like that. Damn. And I wanted to break two hours, so I was like, I was happy with go. that. There you go. But um, get in there, Lewis. <clears throat> yeah, mate. You're just trying to be the Lewis Hamilton of, of running, half marathons. Of running. That's exactly. why you got your hair, hair long. Yep. Trying to get ripped. Yep. And I did Pilates too the there day before, go. which is some big old man bun shit. Yeah. yeah. Pilates <laughs> is some man bun shit. Real man bun behavior. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, dude. So next you're going to move to Monaco. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Just posting selfies of you smiling, running down a trail. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> That's sick, though. Hour 51. Doesn't seem that long. I've, like, it's probably absurdly painful, but... It was, it was bad because I was like, I hadn't done a run that fast in forever. Yeah. And it's like once the race starts and you're with all the people, you get that energy. You can run faster. It's just like a thing. Do you like from the start line, how do they how do they arrange the grid? Is it like they just stack you up? And it's then... just random. Okay. It's completely random. Normally, like with a bigger marathon, it's like they have like cana uh, canals, not canals. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like where horses start in <laughs> corrals. Oh, okay. Where it's like, these are the fast people. You like go online, you sign up, and you tell them what time you think you're going to finish in. Wait, can, Candace, can we go out of reptile lighting? Yeah, it's, it's making it's, me feel. Yeah, oh, this what is the fuck is this? lighting. This is, the, this is the drama lighting. Oh, yeah. Let's okay. go back to regular if we can. purple back here, though. There we go. Yeah, yeah thank that you. reptile lighting, man, that felt like a. I felt like an A24 scene. <laughs> it really did. When you're running in the heat, it feels like your bars <laughs> with the fucking animal heads. Yeah, just fucking <laughs> <laughs> and Nima getting zooms on the fucking. <laughs> and it gets really hot. <laughs> Yo. What are the thing that the horses start in again? <laughs> it's called a corral. Oh, I was at Golden Corral the other day. They corral humans for the race. The big race. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so they in, in this one they just stacked you up like a big. This one is just white. It's whitefish. It's a small town in Montana. They're just like you fucking. If you're here, yeah, you're if you're here, you're family. So when you say you're like, oh, you get the energy. Do do you ever you're high? Do you ever get the feel though, like from the start, where like do you ever spot someone out? You're like, 
I could run faster than that mother. Yes, yes. Okay. That's that was the thing. That was the thing that kept me motivated. It was this girl running in front of me. Are you picking on women, bro? I'm not picking on anyone. She was, bro. You were running way faster than me. I was like, Start. this is the I'm gonna. I can't. Oh, okay. okay. I can't let you. I gotta. You know. And so, And then so at you like, can't let a woman beat you. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying, dude. Unbelievable. That's not what I'm saying. Cody saw out of all the people in the Christ saw a woman, and he's like, "You're not winning today." <laughs> Unbelievable. Bro. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying she was the <laughs> only other person running the exact same pace that I was. Right. Everyone else, we were blowing past them, okay, like okay. eat my fucking dust, right? Okay. All right. All right. Plus, I was like, I'm not gonna let a girl beat me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, so Chad. So, yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, definitely not losing to a girl, especially a white. Fish. I'm sorry. You see the man bun, or what's good? <laughs> I did Pilates yesterday. Um, but this was like how deep in the race? Right off the right off the bat, she was in front of me the whole time, and like I'm running at a pace that I haven't ran at forever. Right, so I'm. It's hard to run much faster than that. Word. But I'm using her as, like, I'm keeping up to her no matter what. Right. And uh, she was my, like, pace bunny. Okay, know? so you're, like, kind of running in tow, and you're just getting ready to stomp her dreams out at the finish line. Which I did at around mile seven. She faded back. And did I just, you actually? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you cleaned her? I cleaned her. I dusted her, dude. And you know it's I real because he remembered it. He's like, yeah, mile seven. <laughs> Lasered. It's funny because, wow. like, it's almost, it's, it's not like when you say it like that, it's like she... You you imagine it as dramatic as her like at mile seven like falling from exhaustion and me just cooking by her yeah. right like in a cloud of dust yeah eat my sh but really when you pass someone in a race like that it's really slow and it's really awkward so it's like because you slowly their pace starts to fade so slowly that eventually you guys are just shoulder to shoulder like trying not to look at each other from the corner got it and yeah. once you do because you always end up doing that you go hey. Eat my fucking dust, by the way. Yeah. You mind if I just take the inside line here? <laughs> yeah, a little turn coming. You mind if I just... Yeah. Come. I can tell you're fading, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Look up back there, but not so much anymore. Why don't so. you just back it up? Let me cut your nose off. And yeah. <laughs> let me in. Let me in. Why don't you come on? Fade back. Come let on. me in. Come on. Come on. Don't make me pour it on. Don't make me go turbo mode. <laughs> don't, make, don't make me hit the NOS button, right? You don't want to see what that does. <laughs> then the NOS button's just like slightly faster. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. That's what it is. Nice. Yeah. So like... Did you, did you guys have an awkward, like, mm. Yeah, it was like, uh, and then I just, oh! Yeah. Fuck. I, that's what I did. I bucked at her, actually. I was running, I was running by like this. Yeah. How you doing? Fuck you! you should, I feel like you should have been like, tell me how it looks. What? Tell me how my fat cake looks. Yeah. <laughs> tell me how the pony looks from back there. <laughs> pony. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to get in front. I'm cut in front of you for a second. Let me know how the bun looks, all right? <laughs> And try to remember it, because you won't get to stare very long. Because mile nine, I'm leaving your ass. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Magic Spoon. Uh, we're all trying to eat better, but healthy breakfast doesn't have to be boring, all no. right? Magic Spoon has the amazing flavors you love, but without all the bad stuff. Yeah, zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs each serving. That's only 140 calories a serving. That's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, and GMO-free. All right, man? And they got a variety pack, dude, of four different flavors. They got cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. Now, nothing I'm like, you know, a little bit of fruity cereal in the morning. Exactly. That's my favorite flavor right here. I got the fruity ones right here. Let me just pop one in the gullet. Mm. And you can mix and match too. That's the best part. You can go. Oh, you can go crazy. Half fruity, you can go half cocoa. Yeah, you could be frosted and grained. You could do a frosted grain. Yeah. Crazy. Um, it tastes exactly like regular cereal from your childhood, but it's super nutritious. It's delicious, but super healthy, and uh, it really brings joy to your mornings. Um, so just go to magicspoon.com/tmg to grab a variety pack and try it out today. And be sure to use our promo code TMG at checkout to save $5 off your order. Yeah, Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund you your money, no questions asked. Remember, get your next delicious bowl of guilt-free cereal at magicspoon.com slash TMG. Use the code TMG to save $5 off. And a big thank you to Magic Spoon for sponsoring this episode. It's crazy, though, man. Whitefish is blowing the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> Real estate prices there have skyrocketed. And this is like a small, sleepy town that nobody really knows about. Yeah. It's just like everywhere else in the States. 
This shit is just random areas blowing the fuck up because people are finally like, oh, we don't have to go into the office. Let's just housing is move out to the trees, which is beautiful. Is, it's messed up right now, dude. It is messed up. It's absolutely messed. It's mashed. So mashed. It's mashed up, dude. Super mashed. It's super mashed up right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> housing market's really mashed up. That's that's uh, your running villain. She was pretty mashed up after you oh, fucking got mashed steam up. Steamrolled her. Oh, yeah. Steamrolled. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just. Laughing at at the beginning of a race, being like, "I'm gonna crush her because she's a girl." <laughs> so juvenile. <laughs> like, definitely not losing to a girl, dude. Definitely not, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't live with myself. Could you imagine if I lost to a girl today? <laughs> oh, awful, dude. Dude, my boys would just tear into me, dude. <laughs> just telling her that the whole time you guys are running shoulder to shoulder. You seem chill, but I just cannot lose to you today. <laughs> All right, or else I'll be fighting for my life in the group chat. <laughs> you just don't get it. You don't get it because you're a girl. <laughs> and, like, we don't allow girls in the group chat. What, do you guys have makeup group chats? <laughs> Actually, we have group chats where we talk about your small penises. <laughs> Sick. I'm not going to talk anymore for the rest of the round. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Well, congrats. Thanks. Um, Thanks. So now I think I'm going to do a full one. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm full? already on the training thing, so I might as well so, just not. So full is, like, 22 miles? 26. 26. I'll watch. You should. I'll, I'll watch you do that. You should. <laughs> a little live stream. Do it. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll live stream my myself. Yeah, just, what up, guys? Hop on IG Live. For a full marathon? That'd be hilarious, <laughs> That'd be dude. so funny. Running with just like one of those uh, selfie sticks on the waist. <laughs> just make it like a snorri cam. Yeah, just bouncing on your pelvis. <laughs> make everyone vomit that's watching it. Like, I can't follow his head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. All uh, right, guys. Mile twelve. <laughs> really edited shit. So I'm in the porta potty right now. It smells like ass in here. <laughs> kind of weird, but okay. <laughs> bro, speaking of athleticism, I watched this dude uh, do like 200 pound. Like you know, th this guy was big, but and he probably trained, but he didn't strike me as like a. He was like one of those naturally strong guys. That, <clears throat> this is at the gym at the hotel. You know, he's like one of those naturally strong dudes. I could just walk into a gym and be like, I'll deadlift 200. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just big. Mm -hmm. And he's doing 200, 205 power cleans with a mask on. Jesus. And like, just like in a shirt and like some, you know, athletic shorts. Like, he didn't seem like he wakes up and he's like, I'm going to work out every day. He's like, yeah, I'm just going to work out today. Yeah. And he's going, Whoa, dude. in between those sets, that dude was like, <laughs> <laughs> Dying. <laughs> I wanted to walk over and be like, dude, you, you don't you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to do this. Like you're clearly powerful. Just save yourself the headache. I fucking I should have sent this TikTok. I saw this TikTok yesterday. I don't know why I didn't send it. Because it's it's would have been perfect for us to watch. <laughs> but it's this dude, he's squatting, I think squatting five fifty. Let's he's, go. He's like a college kid too. Let's go. Trend. But the funny part is like wait what his like pump up routine. <laughs> His friend like slaps him like four times on the thighs and on the cheeks. And then he, he goes up and just to rip some smelling salts and like rub some under his nose. And he's like, Whoa! He's like completely red in the face already. And he racks his fucking 550, does one rep and then racks it. And his knees And goes explode. even harder afterwards. <laughs> oh, yeah, he okay. fucking, he <laughs> just <laughs> pukes and vomits and comes at the same time. <laughs> and his knees it literally shatter. <laughs> just. <laughs> Whoa! Like, <laughs> Like from, ah! <laughs> that's the best part of the boys, dude, is how much, like, the gore. Oh, You just so don't good. see that anymore. No, no. So that's what I'm picturing right now. Just, just kneecaps, <laughs> literally cartilage and off. flesh just <laughs> <laughs> over the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy's face covered in blood. Oh, my God. Ah! I thought this lady, so the gym at the hotel I was at was strangely fucking awesome. I couldn't believe it. Two racks in there, tons of plates, Damn. bumper plates out the wazoo. Dang. Yeah. Uh, two squat racks? Two squat racks. You do I did not see that in a hotel gym. I was ever. blown away. That's great, dude. Like, you do some front squats? Um, Just standard, do some, okay. split, do some split squats. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> random ass question. Yeah. That's yeah. chill, man. You do some front squats? Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, judgment. Uh, yeah, no, yes, yes. Good. Yes. Good. Those are important. <laughs> Just making sure you're hitting all areas. <laughs> Thanks, man. Um, <laughs> so after my front squats, I did deadlift. Deadlift. <laughs> yeah. <let's see. laughs> yeah, I was I was in there squatting my little weight. I felt like I felt my first feeling of being thick happened over nice. this break. Felt my thighs rubbing together oh, in the shower. Oh, chafe action. I, I almost poked it out a little bit. <laughs> I almost put my hands up to my chest and just poked it out. I was like, mm. <laughs> honey, come look. Come look at my, honey, look at my cake. <laughs> come look at my, come look at my cake. Look, look, look at this little waddle honey, back here. come look at my thigh gap. <laughs> or should I say lack thereof now? Honey, no thigh gap. Look, look at my <laughs> yeah, cake. No I was said it. I said, Dude's wanting the least thigh gap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how hard my hard my thighs squish into each other. That I think that's actually the bussy. Is yeah. when you have thick inner thighs, yeah. it's that rubbing in between. <laughs> like Sam's like Sam's thighs. Yeah, yeah. You know that's why Sam is such a little little slut because he feels like you know he, he just feels that grease <laughs> building up in there. He feels and he gets wet down there. <laughs> feels like a little thought. That's why he's trying to wear the shortest shorts possible. To show is um, bamel toe. Bamel toe? Bussy, bussy camel toe. <laughs> <laughs> just like Luke, just like, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Bamel toe? It is bamel toe. Just, what am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, look at my cake. Hun, check out the cake. <laughs> Honey, look at my fat cake. <laughs> Honey, yeah, it seems like my um, sumo squats are building up, adding some nice cake in there. <laughs> It's nice that uh, that little thickness in there pushes out your small dick and balls. Makes it look even smaller. Yeah, yeah. Makes it look like a <laughs> like a <laughs> like a small animal perched between your thighs. It's a, a small worm <laughs> hanging out between your thighs. Yeah, bro. That. I like. I went in that gym. And I did exactly that. Just fanning out my shirt. Good. You do front squats. Yeah. Good. No, that shit. It. It. Not only did it blow my mind, it just made me think how much hotels kind of don't give a shit about your experience. <laughs> like you can see a, that sweat, right? Oh there? yeah, you got some. You got gut sweat, stomach sweat. sweat. That's how hot it is in here. You can't Dang, see it. Man. Mask might be yeah, blocking mask, it, but the masks are definitely in. The way. <clears throat> Sorry, what were you saying? You what? I'm just going on a tangent. I just it made me think about how like some massive hotels have the smallest gyms. Yeah, it's like they just want to shove you full of food and give you the worst place to work out. Yes, to make you as gluttonous as possible. Yeah, it's like a jail cell with. F- fluorescent lighting yeah. and one elliptical yeah. and you're like and then, what the fuck how <laughs> and then a dumbbell set that goes from 5 10 to 50 <laughs> yeah the, the in between is missing yeah. yeah so it's like okay i either have to lift really heavy or really small <laughs> yeah, yeah what the fuck and then there's five people always trying to use one bench yeah watching you work out with yeah. dumbbells yeah and then two people sharing it so true did you want a dual bicep curl yeah well yeah and they hold each our side. gym here is nicer than that yeah. We, we actually got a great gym here. Yeah, yeah. We um I forgot all about it. I was like, we have yeah. a gym here? Yeah, yeah, we got a gym. We got a we got a heavy bag yep. in there. Yep, we do. Which is nice. There's a full hiking dome in there. It's crazy. Hiking dome, there is. I forgot about that. Yeah, you just like you go down one layer and it's literally an entire mountain to hike. Yeah. In a spaceship. It fucks with you. A bobsledding track too, weirdly. Yeah, I don't fuck with that. I don't really fuck with that either. Because it just looks like no one's ever used it. Yeah. And the bobsled itself looks definitely like it was stolen from like the Russian Olympic yeah. team in yeah. like the 80s. Yeah. So I'll definitely use the shot put area though. Oh yeah, eventually. that's sick. And the hammer throw. That's the coolest mm-hmm. part. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I would javelin, but like I'm so afraid because of the way it's positioned, someone's going to come through the door. And just... Hey, Noel, we're rolling in. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Just, we're rolling. <laughs> like, oh, fuck. I, shh, 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 I feel like getting it's okay. It's, okay. It's, okay. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What are you? It's okay. I'm here. I'm here. You're going to make it. You're going to make it. Make it. Make it. We'll get you down. We'll get you down to the hospital. We'll, we'll beam you back down to Earth. We'll get you to the hospital. Just, get, just, just oh. Is it, how, how bad does it look? <laughs> Blood squirting out of his mouth. And how bad? Uh, no, don't um, talk, don't talk, don't it, talk. It looks fine. It's like a little flesh wound. I think you'll be fine. I feel like getting nailed the javelin's probably a lot faster. <laughs> hey, do <can> you... <laughs> 
Like, it's just oh. that, <laughs> yeah, just that second, yeah. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> just oh my! <laughs> it's got to be so quick, man. There's no way it, it's slow. You definitely go like you, that's getting imagine get hit from the server. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> imagine getting hit with a shot put. Oh, just <laughs> one of these, and he just <laughs> broken bones. Wall. Yeah, that makes me think of like Civil War era, like getting like hitting with a rolling cannonball. Yeah. Because after all the momentum's lost, and it's just a hot ball of... Yeah. Just takes your shin out. Yeah. All right, hold the... <laughs> <laughs> ah, guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode. Liquid Death. You may start noticing there are strange tall boys of beer in the bottled water section of your local stores. You may be thinking, what the heck? What the heck are those? Well, it's not beer. It's actually mountain spring water from the Alps of yeah. all places, and it's called Liquid Death. Why is this water called Liquid Death? Well, it's because it will brutally murder your thirst, and their infinitely recyclable tall boy cans are helping to bring death to plastic bottles. That's right. So donate 10% of their profits from every can sold to help kill plastic pollution. If it's anything that needs to be brutally murdered besides your thirst, yep. it's plastic. Yep, yep. Google microplastics, I dare you. Don't do it, it's gonna make you depressed. <clears throat> Did you know plastic isn't actually recyclable anymore and that most plastic you th that you throw in a recycling bin just gets sent to a landfill because it's not profitable to recycle? Mm -hmm. Aluminum is infinitely recyclable and actually profitable for recycling facilities. Yeah, you know, um, we, we drink this very often. Uh, I, I love these cans personally. Yes, <laughs> I, I love this shit. I really do. Just because I can actually measure how much water I'm drinking. Mm -hmm. It's very easy for me to go one can, two can, three can, which is super lazy. But <laughs> no, but that's actually why I drink it too. Yeah. Because it's easy and it does make me feel shitty. When I do that with plastic bottles, I'm like, oh my God, I'm like destroying the world. Yeah. But with this, I'm crushing cans. I'm crushing them, tossing them <laughs> in the recycling. Like fucking slam dunking them in there. Also, there's just something that feels good about drinking it out of a can. Yeah, Plastic I agree. Plastic is just something just ugh, about it. So if you want to pick up some, you can actually get two free koozies with your first order of any case of water at liquiddeath.com slash TMG. That's two free koozies with your first order. Just go to liquiddeath.com slash TMG. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> sp speaking of um, getting taken out, Adrian's kickback, dude. What a, what a world. 149 people arrested. 149 people arrested? So this all happened from TikTok, right? That ain't and how shit. did the meme even start? How does any fucking meme start? Because the kid Adrian like posted a like an actual ad to his kickback. But people probably do that all every day, all day. I think it was like the text and all that. It just seemed like something someone would make if they were forty. Okay. <laughs> and to be sixteen, I think it was so polarizing that so many young kids were like, "There's no way you made that." <laughs> Can I see the flyer? Uh, if we have a shot of it, I want to see that. So then people were flying into town for it. Like, so this thing went viral. He posted this. He yeah. said, hey, I'm having a kickback or whatever. And it went totally viral. A parade of Beamers drove, <laughs> like, some absurd amount of miles. It was like 200 cars, like a full car club, <laughs> drove to Adrian's kickback. It made me want to leave Hawaii. To go to the kickback? I'm like, I need to. I know. I saw the all the footage of people, like, lighting fireworks off on the street and stuff like that. I was like, this seems kind of sick. I, you know. <clears throat> <laughs> I, I I know the Nelk boys were looking at that being like, these motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we gotta do it bigger than them. <laughs> gotta do it bigger than Adrian. Yeah. All right, guys. Meet up in Times Square this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it was uh, you know they they rolled out like uh like riot squads, man, to shut these kids down. All right, who who is this now? Everything that happened at the Adrian kickback. Let's see this. Huntington Beach, too. Yeah. Such a perfect place for this to go down. Yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. Oh, no, no. Pause it, 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 pause it. What happened? Copyrighted music. Oh. Yeah, woo, woo. It's all right. okay. It's all right. No worries. Adrian had a kickback. <clears throat> We're aware. Yeah. Uh, Last two times I've been to Huntington Beach, there was a Trump rally both times. One of them was after he got, after he didn't get elected. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Yeah. They love Trump down there. Oh, they do. Yeah. Orange County. 
Yeah, they had big, big. Orange County fucks energy. with Trump. Yeah, they do. <clears throat> you know, like I think it's Manhattan Beach. There's like, uh, I didn't realize this. There's like a, it's like a memorial stone. I feel for like a black owned hotel and the family that owned it just literally just got ran out of town. What? Yeah. In Manhattan Beach? Yeah. There's, there's a lot of that weird, like, you know, I, I and I guess Huntington before everything, supposedly it was like a like a white supremacy hangout spot. Like hmm. bi- like biker gangs would chill down. Oh there. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. And so yeah, it was just like it's 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 so weird because it's such a nice place and then <laughs> You like dig into like some of the roots you're like oh that's uncomfortable yeah that's yeah. really shitty yeah it's just uh, further you get out of la oh yeah you the get more the, the trump we- flags you start seeing everywhere yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get in the weirdo pockets man <clears throat> oh yeah anyway you know you know they're they're going crazy for the no mask shit now like, oh, that's yeah. right motherfucker <laughs> i'm i'm stoked too man <laughs> june 15th june 15th they said no uh, no uh, the capacity things anymore, no masks. You just can't celebrate too early because then people get the wrong idea about you. Yeah, that's true. No masks. Fuck yeah, no masks. <laughs> Fuck yeah, no masks. Whoa, hey, not like that, man. <laughs> 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 ah, shit, I thought you was. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Ouchy, more like fraud. Jeez. <laughs> nice. Anyway, nice. let's not even do that. It's crazy how you get deleted from Twitter and you just get, like, erased. What do you mean? I mean, you know, Trump got forcibly logged off. Yeah, you don't read his press releases that he released? Nah, I'm not subscribed, dude. <laughs> but, uh, it, you know, like, I had, like, a burner email that I had on my Instagram for a while. And just, you know, big ups to everyone who made sure to sign me up for all Trump-related things <laughs> 15 times. The four times I've checked that thing, it's just like, thank you for signing up for the Trump campaign. Thank you. I'm like, cool. That's Thanks, how I'm going gonna, gonna to delete my Twitter and start putting out updates through press releases. <laughs> through a blog? <laughs> through a blog. Just take yeah. it old school, man. Yeah, exactly. See me at livejournal.com <laughs> slash Cody Thinks. <laughs> hey, guys. Wanted to, wanted to update you guys on my thoughts on crypto. <laughs> no, dude. Not again. <laughs> Wait. New main quitting social media? No way. Uh, Is he quitting? No. It was, it was like a bait video. Is this him? YouTube? No, I guess this is my first YouTube video in probably like four or five years. If you don't know who I am, my name is Kane Trujillo and um, Numain on TikTok. Uh, N-E-U-M-A-N-E. Music? Oh yeah, music. Fuck. Yeah, who, who even cares? It's like at the end he's like, I'm not quitting. I'm never going away. <laughs> really? Yeah. This... Did he ever address any of the things that people were saying? No. Like Josh, I'm wondering what his thoughts are. You, you know that he... It's just like the ultimate double down. He doesn't like really feel any. But you got to think of every person on the internet is like, this is fucked up. Some people can just roll with that. Yeah, Jake I Paul. guess. Especially Gen Z. They don't give a fuck. Nah, they don't. They've been dealing with negative comments. Their whole- That's what I noticed, man. So much bullying happens on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Kids don't care at all. Nah. Nah, they don't. They got thick skin. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's like uh, you would venture to say that some Call of Duty players would be hard pressed to be yeah put together in the TikTok environment yeah it's like yeah. cuz cuz the bullying on TikTok is it's just wildly specific like someone will sit there and watch your TikTok 6 7 times to be like why is your left ear bigger yeah yeah exactly well, yeah no it's not yeah yeah it is bro look at the lighting look in the mirror yeah oh it's not bigger post a picture of yourself right now yeah thousand comments ah big ear and then every tiktok after that <laughs> big ear what's up big ear hey can you hear me what's up dumbo sorry you didn't catch me let me step on the left side yeah <laughs> and then and then you know when like <laughs> spacex rocket successfully crashes through the stratosphere creating a sonic boom it's people tagging him in that hey, i bet you heard that shit huh <laughs> i bet your left ear caught that huh <laughs> big ear motherfucker yeah <laughs> Your grandma uses you for a fucking cable TV, huh? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely uh, the kids, they just don't give a shit. That was like the, I think the first thing when you use TikTok, you're like, oh, they talk shit on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With with the amount that like body positivity and stuff like that is increasing, bullying is also increasing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's crazy. I think adults think that TikTok is like a safer platform. 
I, I think it's the, you see some cr- fucked who, up shit on that. Who was thinking that? Like, even even the ability to stitch and to react to people's stuff, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, I mean, like, I do that on TikTok, but I mean, say, like, people brutalize that. Oh, yeah, I've definitely seen some mean ones. Yeah. And it's crazy to just be, like, consuming that shit all day. Yeah. Just, you know, you know, like, some, a lot of these kids just eating that out, laughing like a maniac, yeah. like, hell yeah, make fun of people, get them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think New Man cares. I think he likes it. I think he likes the attention. Yeah. That's just that, you know, I'm not going to diagnose anybody, but there are some people who thrive on any attention. Hola, hombres. Uh, we're going to take another quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, and that's Babbel. For most of us, learning learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high point in our academic careers. I've mm-hmm. never been good at learning other languages. Uh, but now thanks to Babbel, the number one selling language learning app, there's an addictively fun and easy way to learn a new language. Whether you'll be traveling abroad, connecting in a deeper way with family, or you just have some free time, Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. Yeah, Babbel's 15-minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language app on the go. Personally, me, I love learning a new language. Uh, Just, you know, if I'm killing time somewhere or perhaps if I'm sitting on the porcelain throne. Yeah, true. Babbel designs their courses with practical, real-world conversations in mind, things that you'll get to use in everyday life. Uh, other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language experts. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, German, uh, you know, and plenty more. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. So start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Uh, right now, when you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. That's six months for the price of just three. Just go to Babbel.com and use the promo code TMG. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com, code TMG, for an extra three months free. Babbel, language for life. So one of the books, because you asked me in the bonus episode, which if you're listening to the free episode now, you haven't heard yet, but Cody asked me, What's some, what are some of the books you're reading? Yeah, were you reading a book on Web 3.0 or was it like internet stuff? No, I was just reading internet stuff. But I was actually reading another book about like uh, psychology of like, um, or, or the effects of emotionally immature people who grow up and then like when they raise kids. Oh, and right. So like the book is about, they title it Emotionally Immature Parents. Okay. And I was just dying laughing at the idea. It's just a book about cod players <laughs> having kids. Yeah, yeah. And like they can't deal with emotions. <laughs> like when their kid's crying, it's like, oh, just fucking stop, dude. <laughs> You're fucking up the vibe. Like, oh my God. You are definitely not my kid. Like, you don't know how to chill. This is so annoying, dude. <sighs> yeah, that's, that's very true. God. Just, I'm going to fuck your mom. Like the literally, kid, the kid's like, yeah, yeah. That's how I got. That's here. how I got here, dude. I fuck your mom. You realize that, right? <laughs> you realize I fuck your mom, right? <laughs> yeah, go cry to your mom. Doesn't matter because I fuck her. Yeah, <laughs> dad, I got bullied at school. <laughs> you're getting bullied here too, pussy. <laughs> yeah, dude. It was one of the books. I was in. It's it's a weird thing to read shit like that, like on a beach. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just wildly deep psychological shit on your phone and then just someone walked by you doing all right over here yeah yep yeah, yeah. just <laughs> yep yeah crying yeah. yeah sorry this book is just like really yeah fucked up. yeah and the best part is that book is like a ton of testimonials oh so yeah just reading about other people's experiences oh like, god oh, man, that sounds heavy <sighs> yeah, what's it I called will, um children of emotionally immature parents oh okay yeah self-explanatory yeah <laughs> super <laughs> just yeah, I will do a pina colada. <laughs> yeah. I will uh, have another pina, thank you. I will. This is for Mary. <clears throat> God bless her soul. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it's a in- interesting read. Um, I feel like I'm late to the Web 3.0 stuff. That's the feeling I got when I was reading about that stuff. I was like, damn, I slept on this for like years. Yeah, I mean, there's so much shit happening already. Have you ever looked at like the stack of like Web 3.0? Like how like, like you know, like, when you think of like web stack, it's like you see like the layers. It's like back end, front end, whatever. Like I was looking at some diagram that was detailed about the web 3.0 stack, and like where crypto falls in and where other like smart contracts and stuff fit in. And it was like seven layers. Bitcoin was layer one. 
and yeah. then Ethereum was layer two. Oh, I see. <laughs> so it's like this is what I was trying to say in the bonus where Yeah, and then there's a DeFi or there's a decentralized database technology that people use now. Yeah, that's like way up. Okay. Um but and, and then web host. Yeah. DNS. That, there's a decentralized DNS now as that well. Shit is like that's the stuff that like gets higher. Yeah. <clears throat> but when I, I, I feel like I didn't articulate this very well in the bonus. So it's weird to do it now, but you know, to to the point of people being like, "Why you guys talk about crypto so much, dude? It's gonna it's gonna shift the paradigm, man." Yeah, Saris, Cody Paradigm Shift Co. <laughs> Literally, you can call me that. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll shut the fuck up about it, but yeah, the, I love uh, talking about this shit. I mean, dude, the concept of it's how. It's the total inverse of everything now. Mm -hmm. Everything now, it's like one person contains and owns everything and decides everything. And this, the idea of like TikTok, a pla like a social platform being completely decentralized with like capability of anon anonymity. It's scary as fuck is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's it's what I was talking about before. It's like, then how do you actually prevent? Because, okay, okay, so there's some level to like, uh, there's some argument, right, where it's like no censorship, right? Like mm -hmm. whether or not you think it's good or bad that Trump got taken off of Twitter right. or whatever, there's a lot of people that think that censorship, that shouldn't happen. And so with a decent decentralized system, it can't happen. Yeah. But then how do you how do you block out the truly evil shit? Not to say Trump isn't tru truly evil, but I'm saying like the crimes and, oh, yeah, and like people sharing horrible nefarious, shit. horrible shit. Yeah. It's going to be like fortune. Imagine a decentralized fortune. I mean... Yeah, where yeah. you can never take anything down. Yeah. And, so then, well, how do you, what, how do you police that? You uh, need to. A little bit of regulation is good. That's why we have speed limits and sea belts. <laughs> you know I mean, what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> when you speed limit on the internet, stop with these fucking pedophiles. <laughs> well, I'm per that's pretty much what it is. Like, no, yeah, and and I mean, even like <clears throat> people that trade that info, like I was talking about, like zero knowledge protocol, like yeah. the fact that you could be a disgusting person and confirm that with someone else who's like about that yeah. and then like you guys can now anonymously share information and data it's, that shit is so wild yeah it's so wild man but yeah that 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 future of privacy going from totally at risk to uh impenetrable like yeah. you can be as private and as masked as you want I was thinking of shit like imagine face filters get so good and voice filters get so good that like what if social apps are just like it's a grown man being Charlie D'Amelio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he goes out in his regular life and <clears throat> no one has a fucking clue. Yeah. And then he works with a team to manufacture media and yeah. what if it's sharp as shit and yeah. people just believe it? Yeah, it will be that. <laughs> and then you don't have because it, it'll be in VR too. You could like do that. Just, yeah. Yeah. I was picturing like imagine some scary like private resort where it's like required at all times to like wear some like AR headset and you can never know who's actually there. Like imagine like going out to a restaurant and then like because you have your AR on, everyone's face is like muted in some way. Oh, like they're all in like uh, those like masks, those like uh, uh, Phantom of the Opera masks. <laughs> Type, yeah, basically that, but yeah. like the tech version. Yeah. That's just, I don't know. I don't know. Just. The future, man. The future. That's all I was thinking about with Web3. <laughs> this is good. Sounds like you were relaxing. Yeah. <laughs> I was relaxing thinking about the... Stressing the fuck out over the... Absolute... <laughs> over what's going to happen in five paradigm years. Paradigm shift, dude. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, it, just, it just made me think how we... You know, it made me think on the way we talk about crypto and stuff. I think the narrative is kind of dumb. You know, it's just... It's all purely about the financial stuff. And we sleep on the other part of it, which is... No, dude, the technology that people are experimenting with on the back end oh, yeah. is the part that, like, when we talk about, <clears throat> it made me feel that when we talk about AI and the takeover of robots and stuff, that's, like, we think that of physical things, like being replaced by machines and, and whatever. And I look at the Web 3.0, I'm like, no, no, dude, this is the weird AI world yeah. that's going to take over. Yeah. Where, you know transactions and data and all that stuff is being crunched and produced by obscure machines in like people's backyards and they don't even know that it's your, inf you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's just, 
that's the bizarro world we'll, we're going into. It's not. which is why, dude. Which is why it's so these like shit coins are so annoying because it's like there's so much incredible sh shit happening and the world is changing. Like blockchain could be the and Bitcoin could be the most important invention of the last however many years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yet, boob coin. Yeah. Is the thing that everyone's paying attention yeah. to. Yeah, you know the Shiba Inu coins. Yeah, yeah. Man. They get ripped off, and they're like, you know what? Fuck crypto. Crypto's for losers, man. Yeah. It's, it's it's going away. Yeah. Just, nah. The only Anyways. thing that has to be fixed is the cha making changes on a blockchain. If so, whoever figures that out, wasn't Marcus working with some people? You can't do it. That's the point. No, but uh, I sorry. In in relation to like DApps, like decentralized apps, like it's if you put out a DApp, like it's kind of. That's what smart contracts are for, right? Yeah, but there's still a, a degree of like um, limitation. Mm. That's why DAOs and stuff are super experimental and they have very specific use cases because it's hard to iterate. Mm. So whoever can figure out some weird middle layer there, that's going to be like the what? Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Last thing I'll say. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the Did you look at that whole shit Uniswap? Yeah. And you saw how like they forked and that whole business? No, I didn't. All right, so I read this article where someone was basically talking about how like if you consider smart contracts to be the basis of like a company or like an organization, there's like a world where people could fork your company. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> someone could wake up one day and be like, DraftKings sucks, I could do it better and yeah. fork the whole thing and then <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Imagine and you're that just in like, media too. Oh yeah, you're like I could fight you better than Jake Paul. Podcast, <laughs> they, TMG podcast. They talk sucks. about crypto too much. I'm gonna fork it. And and just about do the it good better. Shit. Yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna synthesize all voice recordings of them and <laughs> yeah. build the same podcast, yeah. but better. But better. Could you imagine selling like like specific iterations of your personality, like as a podcast? Yeah. Like, yeah. So we took all our voices, and now we're manufacturing a finance podcast, but it's us. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Sorry. So yeah, you know, relaxing shit. I, I will take another pina colada. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yes, I'll have another pina. <laughs> yeah, Uniswap was crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that whole, um, basically what it was, guys, is Uniswap was like a, it was a smart contract for NFT uh, trading, right? Like it would find like a buyer and a seller. Yeah. Yeah, it's an exchange, right? It, it actually wasn't like a full up exchange. It just like, because I don't think any of the NFTs lived on Uniswap in okay. the beginning. Gotcha. It, they do now. Okay. So here's what's crazy is it started as a smart contract, which is kind of like a brokering system. This is my understanding. And then SushiSwap came along. They took that smart contract and they go, we're going to build a company out of this. So then the people who created that smart contract for Uniswap, they're like, nah. <laughs> and then they made their platform. So then they launched essentially two companies like, I don't know the timeline, but essentially in tandem. Oh, okay. And it's just like out of a smart contract, two companies were born and like they're in some way competing. Wow. And then they are DAOs. So they offer, you can stake in the company. So you can uh, benefit from the profits they take from people buying and selling NFTs. By buying tokens, by buying Uniswap. So you can, you can be invested in the company and be like essentially in control of it so you can vote and participate yeah in by buying uniswap token right no this, so it's like that's the other thing is there's two instruments where if you stake you do get tokens but you can also buy tokens in the company but not be staked in oh okay i see so damn yeah <laughs> and that cool. should and that that i was like the numbers they make they make like the double digit millions like Daily. Oh yeah, dude. The fuck. So I'm investing. Sorry, in monthly. This, sorry, not daily. Uh, I'm investing in this fund that just does crypto investments, what? and their their first fund they invested in Uniswap, and it's like thirty eight thousand return on their investment or something absurd. Is it just like a public fund or no? It's like a it's like a private thing. God damn. I was looking at like auto yield funds and stuff. Those are crazy as well. But so yeah, there's so much like interest shit happening right now too. Like staking and, and collecting interest on mm -hmm. like all my friends are staking their ETH and collecting interest on Coinbase now or on BlockFi you can do it. Yeah. Um, it's pretty wild. Yeah. The staking Ethereum part is crazy. Uh 
So the fund is it like is it like they do cash dollars and they just like invest in crypto? Yeah, or, it's like okay. a VC fund. Got it. Yeah, yeah. There's I ask because uh, the, the world of like VC and crypto is so intense. I really didn't understand the scale and capacity they have. Mm -hmm. That's wild, man. The whole it's and it's all happening under the radar. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's happening every day and and people just ass coin <laughs> crypto is a joke, yeah. man. Yeah. Meanwhile, there's a 16 year old getting rich off of like <laughs> butt fuck coin. And oh yeah, dude. Whatever. Oh so, yeah. Anyway, sorry to make the same points, but it blows my mind. Off. I love it. I love it. No. Yeah. And I love Shiba nuts too. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, yeah. Um, speaking of 16 year olds getting rich, we should peep this Call of Duty LAN event. What is this? Oh, look at this kid, dude. Maybe they took the video down. This kid stinks, bro. <laughs> I mean, he's just a shitty teenager, but man, let it rip. Always do it, seven. I'm the best on land. You fucking suck. Don't forget it. White shirt. Yo, pause this. <laughs> My God, this dude. is hey, this is gonna be war in twenty years. <laughs> Kids like just taking out like other countries' robots. Be like, let's fucking go. You're fucking dog let's shit. Go! <laughs> Bro, it's Holy like fuck. You, you ever see that? Go ahead. Nah, this is just funny because like I understand the feeling of accomplishment, but you just smash some random kid on <laughs> land, like you know. No, you know how that feels. Oh uh, yeah, I definitely know how that feels. I, I saw a TikTok that was kind of like this, but it was like the frat dude equivalent of this, where it's uh. like. It was like 12 dudes in a small one-bedroom apartment. <laughs> they're playing Travis Scott or something like that. And they're going ham. These kids are like just singing this shit full blast, like arm in arm. Like it's just a boy's night. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you could tell. Yeah. And you look at it and you're like, this is so corny. But then you look at all the comments and it's like, you guys just don't understand what it's like to be with your boys. <laughs> and I, This, I feel like, is the gamer equivalent of that. Like yeah, on the no. outside, we look at this and we're like... That's fucking lame, right? But it's also we've been there, and we know how good that. No, feels, definitely. That's what, I'm not. I'm not fully hating you. I've definitely had moments where you fucking put somebody away. You're like, get fucked. Get fucked. Get owned. Let's go. The uh, the the best shit is when you smash someone in a first person shooter and they call you a hacker. Oh, oh that's the best. Yeah, you hear their. I've never gotten that. <laughs> I can't even pretend like I've been there, but Sam gets that all the time. Oh, you're hacking. The death comms. Yeah. When you kill him, they go, oh, dude, he's hacking. And then it ends. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, you that shit'll make your. Oh, you wish I was hacking, you little bitch. That makes your inner thigh sweat. That makes your, uh, what was it? Your bamboo toe. knuckle. <laughs> your boost knuckle, yeah. That makes your bamboo toe moisten up a little bit. Because you, you flex the inner thigh a little bit yeah. when someone says that. It's like, yeah. and it gets wet. Yeah, exactly. It, it, makes, it makes your. Or that be your. Is that your thussy? It could be your thussy. Yeah. Boost knuckle. Yeah, Bamel toe. Makes your thussy a little wet. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting thussy flowers. Oh. <laughs> thussy flowers. I'm getting my little th thussy flowers. Oh, shit, shit. Oh, shit. Thussy flowers. <laughs> Bro, I hate to end it abruptly, but I have to go. Oh, you got to go? I got to beam down. Okay, go for it. Beam <laughs> down, dude. He's just going to hang out with the... Yeah, I got some, <laughs> I got some stuff I got to do with this. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm gonna, I just got to... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna beam down. I'm just gonna um I'll see uh, we'll see you guys next week. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna beam down. Okay. Alright. Alright, dude. Best best wishes, man. Yeah. Best wishes. Day. Yeah, yeah. Leave the oh. Nah, I just Oh, you're gonna I'm gonna just take it. Okay. Lee definitely leave that. No, I'm gonna, I, definitely leave that one. I need, I need I'm not done with that. What do you need it for? Just some stuff. I, I need it for stuff. I got some unfinished business with that. That I need to finish. Alright, alright. Okay. All right,
All right. Peace, man. No, don't. Dude. <laughs> Fuck, fine. I'll just jerk off normally then. <laughs>